This is the side of the Maasai tribe that the media won't show you. Do they choose who to marry or does someone else choose? Our father to his wife. Has he got good taste? Love's third mother for us. You can say maybe I like you, I love you. No, no, no. Just have the kids and life goes on. Oh, wow. So was that the liver? Yeah, liver. Want to try? You have to prove you to your dad how strong you are. So you have two choices. Killing a lion to show how strong you are or staying in the forest for months. Which one did you choose? I did both. <laughs> Yeah, and also, we still also circumcise the girls. Yeah. We're only tribe, only a massa is still circumcise the girls. And now government tried to f stop do that, mm -hmm. but for our culture say, and I'm the leader, very hard to stop do that. What age are the women uh, circumcised? Even they are from young, ten. Ted, in this video, there may be some things that will shock you. So, before we begin, I'd like to invite you to please keep an open mind. Today, we are visiting a Maasai settlement, just east of Lake Manyara in Tanzania. We meet our Hello. guides Hello. and start our journey. I'm, Hello, I'm Good to meet you. I'm Ella. After a short drive, we arrive at our destination, a Maasai boma. The Maasai are arguably the most famous tribe in East Africa, renowned for being fearsome warriors. We've met the Maasai before, had a glimpse of their culture, but today I'm about to experience a side of the Maasai that tourists rarely get to see. Mambo. 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 How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you. Hello, I'm Good Lewis. to see you good too. To see you. Asante. I'm Lesian and I'm the leader here. So, are you the head of the village? Yes. How long have you been chief? I'm not yet chief from the leader because my father is still alive. Your father is the yes, chief? Yes, and Sebastian now is too old, but ah, okay. I'm the leader now, so I'm lead. I'm afraid to say that this man is not just Hello. taking his goat for a walk. Do you eat the goat? We eat the goat. So just uh, slough it and eat and finish. Yes. Do you only have it on special occasions or is that the main food you have? This is our food. We have mainly food is meat, milk, mm -hmm. sometimes blood for our cattle. But the blood is the, maybe the time we feel to drink, but it's not every day like a meat we do every day. Yeah. So the meat and milk is every, every day. Every day. Yeah. I tried to prepare myself well, for what would inevitably happen next. Wait a bit, oh, okay? Yeah. The goat was suffocated. It was quick, but it was undoubtedly hard to watch. I tried to remind myself that this goat lived a good life and was spared from the unnecessary suffering that goes on every day inside factories and slaughterhouses around the world, where much of our meat comes from. The goat was well looked after in life, and in death, will now go on to feed the entire village. Nothing will be wasted. This is exactly why the Maasai use suffocation as their preferred method of slaughter, so that absolutely nothing, not even a single drop of blood, is wasted. The goat is carefully prepared for cooking. So do you do this every day or would a goat last a few days? Oh, every three or two days. And this will feed will it, the whole village? Yes, all village. Yes. Yeah. And the meat is belong to specific people. So the head belongs to elders and back is for the woman. There is one piece of meat which is just too good to cook. Oh wow. So was that the liver? Yeah, liver. How do you decide who gets the liver? The one who cooks, the one who is loud. Want to try? Should I try the raw liver? Would you try it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Oh. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. I'm eating a little bit of liver from this goat that has just been slaughtered. The people who took part in the slaughter get to eat the liver, which I think is the prized piece. Yeah. Good. Did you enjoy it? it was actually very nice. It yeah. was still a little bit warm. Even more sought after than the liver is the blood, which the Maasai's believe is the key to building up their strength. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly time for the cooking. The Maasai place the meat in a pot over this dried dung, which they have used to create fire. Wow. Yeah. Whilst the goat starts to cook, we have some time to explore the village. We'll come back here later, when the goat is cooked, to join in on the feast. <laughs> So 
So the welcome is uh, we do for the ceremony, for, we do for the special occasion. If okay. someone married or circumcised boys and girls, mm -hmm. so you guys come and visit us. So it's also special for us. That's it's a special why, occasion. That's why we do this for you guys. Today's visit to the Maasai tribe was organised by Circe Safari Tours. If you'd like to book an experience like mine, click the link in the video description. There you can request a free quote from the same companies that I use to organise my trip. <laughs> okay. After the welcome dance, it's time for a jumping competition. This jumping dance is known as Amadou. The men jump to show their strength. The higher the jump, the stronger he is, and the more respect he earns from the women watching. Traditionally, this dance takes place as part of a greater ceremony to mark the transition of junior warriors becoming senior warriors. We'll learn more about the difficult initiation ceremony that Maasai men have to go through to become warriors very shortly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lysan takes us to a traditional Maasai house where we are about to have a rather in depth chat about Maasai traditions. Oh, this is one of the house, which is gonna visit this is the one side. So, can mind your head? Welcome to a house. This is a typical one. We don't build a big house because we don't know how long we'll stay. When we move, we mm -hmm. don't think about the house because our cattle is very vulnerable than house. And also, Maasai, we are polygamisty so yeah. the men can have several wives my father have 16 wives 16 oh, wow. wives so that means he has a lot of a lot of cattle. everybody we are one family here how many children does he have we are, we are everybody here one family everybody uh, is yeah, his we children are, we are all one father different women and now i have four yeah. you have wives as well now four I have wives. Four wives yes, yes. Four wives. Still young. so if every village is one family how do you find your wives do you have to go to other villages yes the wife is coming from another village so we don't marry a family if one man has multiple wives do some men no have no wives never there's always enough women yes i think that's a many yeah i wondered sometimes if you, if you run out of women i don't know why because Everybody have a wife. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just works. <laughs> yeah, so I think girls are many. And the women can only have one husband. Only one husband. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They are Maasai. Never be married by two men. Because you guys you do a divorce and they're married by another man. But us, you know, married and for life. Do they choose who to marry or does someone else choose? Our father chose wives. So he chose your wives for you? Yes. Has he got good taste? Love does not matter for us. Whatever us, my dad chose me or my mother chose to me. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's perfect for me. Because our love is not from woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mostly from children. You can say maybe I like you, I love you. No, no, no. Doesn't matter. You are beautiful. Maybe your face good or you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Even you are crazy, but you are getting children. No problem. Just have the kids. Yeah. yeah. And life goes on. We have a brief interval in our discussion to visit the village's kindergarten. So this is a kindergarten, and our kids are studying here every day. So we teach them Swahili, English, and mathematics, and also count the number. They're studying from three years, and then we begin for government school. I have like a four stages of our culture. The first one is a young boy, and second is a warrior, yeah. and the elders, oh. and chief. Young boy is the, the boys who have started from zero, mm -hmm. 15 or 16, and the one who can look for the young gods and young cows. If you're wrong, it will be beaten by everybody. Nobody can ask you why you beat my son, no, 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 because he's a young boy, so doesn't have any rules to protect him. Mm -hmm. So after 15, 16, prepare for circumcision. So you have to see your dad, that I'm strong enough. I want to be a warrior. You have to prove your, to your dad how strong you are. So you have two choices, killing a lion or staying in a forest for a month. Which one did you choose? I did both. You wanted to prove just yeah, how strong you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which was the hardest one? The most the hardest. To kill a lion, maybe five strong men prepare very hard because lion, it's like a warrior. Mm -hmm. So we have to prepare. We go through the forest and when you see the lion, we have to rotate because lion see us, lion run. So you have to stand over there, stand over there, you're on there. So don't allow the lion to pass through your place. So when you rotate, the lion look to the eyes of everybody and he can know the guys are good and they can know the guys are shy. You blink the eyes. You know yeah. That you are not a strong warrior. If someone threw the spear, it's the winner. It's like maybe 10 people or 5 people. So the first one is a real strong one because lion come to the one who threw the spear. If you threw the spear to the lion, I have to make sure that I'm going to protect you. But if you're going to throw and I run, I also run. You can learn more the lion, so it will be a problem because lion kill everybody. If you're going to throw the spear, make sure that we protect each other and then five, four spear, lion down. The one who win is the one who start the spear, the one who start. So two of the lion can put the winner spear. So he come to dance village to village and he'll be very famous a lot of girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. For the standing forest, yes, it's hard because you never come here. Sometimes there's just thieves. Sometimes you, you can't get, we don't eat the wild, wild beast. Does everyone become a warrior? Or yeah, everybody. Everyone. So even if they did a bad job, 
with the lion. They yeah. just try until yeah. they get it. Yeah, yes. Everybody become a warrior. When you are going to get the circumcision, so everybody looking, people looking at you, the one who hold you here, and also the one who start here, the one who cut. People are looking everywhere. It's like 10 minutes or five minutes. Someone know how to do quickly, someone slow slowly. You can't blink, blink the eyes. You can't show the, like, the legs because it's very painful. It's yeah. Very, it's, very painful, yeah. very, very painful. So you, have, you must show that you are strong. Do not do anything. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's wow. like this. It's like this. If you can do even one finger yeah. like this, you can even blink. If you blink the eyes, yeah. you can say, oh, it's not a strong man. They can finish you, but you can't speak anything to the man because it is up to your dad that I need to be a warrior, but you didn't qualify. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 without any clothes, nothing. And some guys, they come to sing for you, so you're going to meet them with nothing. No yeah. clothes. So everybody looking at you without any clothes. One of the very hard stage. What is the reason for it? Is it yeah. to show they can withstand the pain? Yeah, yes. That they are strong than that yeah, pain? So yeah, that, so we can protect the people and cattle. So you have to show that if we did this well, nothing can be worried you again. And also, we still circumcise the girls. You do? As a mass, yes, we are 120 tribes in Tanzania. Only a mass is still circumcise the girls. And now government tried to, to stop do that. But for our culture say, and I'm the leader, very hard to stop to that because we are mostly married Masai to Masai. We can't marry a girl. If you're not circumcised, it's like you're a girl, yeah. Yeah. a baby. So no one can marry a baby. But if you are already circumcised, you're a woman and you are be ready to be married. Yeah. So the government wants to stop it. Mostly so what do you think? Do you think that's wrong that they want to stop it? It's, I think it's for them, for the government to, to think it's fair for them because all tribes are already I think not never do again. I think only us. For us, it's to be. I think it's never be happening. So it's yeah. very important to very you to be that yes. the circumcision happens. What age are the women uh, circumcised? Even they are from young, maybe from 10, 10, ten. Or 10 to 13, maybe. So guys. Thank okay. you. My conversation with Lysian left me with a lot to think about. It's very easy to judge the Maasai way of life because their culture is so vastly different from the culture which we were brought up believing in. But is there such a thing as a right or wrong culture? I myself don't know the answer to that. On the one hand, I have immense respect for the fact that the Maasai are still following their traditions. The world would be a much duller place without diverse cultures and we have so much to learn from them. On the other hand, there are certain cultural practices which pose safety issues, such as female circumcision, also known as FGM. In order to get a balanced view of the situation, one really needs to hear all sides of the story, particularly what Maasai women think, which I sadly didn't get round to hearing on this visit. Who knows, maybe that's a story for another day. Is that something you'd be interested to hear more about? Let me know in the comments. We make our way back to the makeshift kitchen in the forest, where the boiled goat is almost ready. The goat has now been reduced to virtually nothing. All the cuts have been distributed throughout the village. This boiled goat is for the Maasai warriors to share, and the goat skin doubles up as both a way to clean the knife as well as as a serving plate. I'm invited to try the boiled goat. Okay, so this one? No. Okay. Asante. 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 It's very nice. Very nice. Very that's flavorful. Just a fresh meat. Yeah, and yeah. it was very no hot. Salt, no anything. Very flavorful meat. Yeah, very flavorful. The warriors then add some herbs to the goat stock to make traditional medicine. So, what medicine are you making? What does it help with? Make our body fresh. Joint, joints. Oh, it makes the joints good. I want to eat. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, moto. 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 What? 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 Mm. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> yeah. Do you want More? More. <laughs> okay. I gave you a little bit. I gave you a little bit. Bitter, that's it. <laughs> Bitter. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That herb dish is strong, it tastes bitter. There's some definite strong herbs in there. And the goat, the goat was really was really nice, really tender, really flavorful. It's not got any garnishings on, that's just boiled goat. We then have some time to just relax and hang out. Picture. Picture? Yeah. yeah. He, he eats eat a lot. He eats eat a lot. everything. He ate everything. <laughs> everything. Yeah. And eat more. He wants more. Yeah. The Maasai take a strong interest in our cameras and microphone setup, especially Lysian. Mm. Mm. The tables are turned and Lysian conducts an interview on Lewis. So today you come to visit us and we show you how we slaughter got and you see it from A to Z. Do you think that you can do like us? Could I do that myself? Yes. Um, with, with, with some help, yes. yes. <laughs> with some help? With some help. How about yourself? Myself. It would be hard. It would be hard. Yeah. Yeah, it would be hard. It, you make it look easy. Yeah, yeah. But I bet as soon as I tried to do it, it would be much more difficult. Yeah. Bef before coming to Tanzania, yeah. what do you know about Maasai? I know that you are very famous. Okay. All over the world, people know Maasai. Okay. And I knew that the cows were important. Okay. Cows are everything for us. They're everything, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, yes. and Maasai, every cow is yours. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. How many cows? How many cows? <laughs> 400 cows. <laughs> 400? Uh, <laughs> Our time with the Maasai has come to an end. Good. Good. Yuri Sana. Asafi Sana. Ashenele. Thank you. But our time learning about Tanzania's tribes has only just begun. We are now heading to Towabu, a town where all 120 of Tanzania's tribes live peacefully side by side along the banks of a river known as Mosquito River. I'll leave a link to this video here once it's ready.